Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to be showing you a video that goes over the hips and the shoulders in the pitching motion. Basically the function of the hips and the shoulders and what the hips and the shoulders are supposed to do throughout the motion of the pitch. This is a very controversial topic in pitching because a lot of different instructors teach a lot of different things. Okay, you're going to come across those pitching instructors who teach the open door, closed door method where the hips and shoulders open at the same time and close at the same time. You're going to come across those pitching instructors who teach your girls to open up and try to stay open all the way open as they, they, they deliver. I am sad to report that neither of those methods are, I'll say, optimal. I don't want to be rude and say correct because, you know, Every pitcher does what works best for her. Every pitcher has a different body type, different body structures, little tweaks to the motion that work best for them. Lefties are supposedly subject to rotational issues and tend to stay more open in the delivery than righties. So I will say that those two methods are not the optimal way to deliver a pitch. So today I wanna to go over what the hips and shoulders are supposed to look like in each stage of the pitch. So let's start with the load, okay? Load is important because it sets us up to be explosive off the rubber and it sets us up to get into a good reach part of the pitch. So in the load, we wanna be in that sprinters-like position, okay? On the balls of the feet, heels up, knees bent, weight forward over the front foot. We want our hips and shoulders to be square to our target in this stage of the pitch. When we start to see opening too soon, or what we call pre-tracking, it greatly, greatly affects, one, the push and drive off the rubber, which takes away from our power, and two, it takes away from our ability to get into a good reach part of the pitch, which affects arm path, posture, all stuff we don't want to deal with. So in the load, we want our hips and shoulders, to be square to our target, facing forward. In the reach, we still want our hips and shoulders to be square to the target as much as we can. And this is where I start to see the controversy happen, or where I start to see a lot of issues in pitchers. They'll get from this load, and maybe they'll be square in the load, but their first move when they come off the rubber is to open their bodies. And look what that's done, okay? It's taken my drive through foot off the power line and now my drive through toe and knee are turned sideways. This is a big, big issue because it's very frequently what causes crow hops in pitchers or replanting. When they open too soon, that foot can much more easily leave the ground. Those hips extending forward and pushing straight forward is a big part of what gives us that glide, that toe and knee forward glide. So look what that's done, okay? My toe and knee are now turned sideways. I'm no longer in that good reach position. My hands are not working together. They're separated. Very frequently you'll see this, elbow sticking out to the side, ball reaching across the face, which is gonna greatly affect arm path and your pitcher's ability to keep her arm on the power line. And look how my front foot has landed. Typically, it will either land at a 90 degree angle, and a lot of the time, it will also land across the power line. Because when you open your hips too soon, that's the direction your foot naturally goes in, across the power line. So now, my foot is too closed. I'm not going to be able to have good hip engagement when I deliver. And my foot is crossed over the power line. It's going to block my arm from getting through. So that little moment, of opening the body too early, okay, has created all those issues. That's why it's so important to be square in the load and still square in the reach. Now, we're gonna open into power K, all right? As we open into power K, the hips and shoulders are gonna open up, especially the shoulders. Very, very important that you allow those shoulders to open up, okay? But the hips are gonna open a little bit as well. Okay, they're gonna open, 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 open right until we get to that kind of nine o'clock position at the back side of the arm circle. Okay, palm up, elbow down at the back side of the arm circle. My elbow is pointed down, my palm is up, my hands over the power line. Now, as I pull down from my elbow to deliver the ball, this is where it gets tricky. There needs to be what we call separation, dissociation, 
between the upper and lower body. What the heck does that mean? Okay, that means that as we pull that elbow down, the hips need to rotate forward, but my shoulders still need to stay open. Okay, that is a crucial, crucial part of the pitch that allows us to generate good whip, good pull down from the elbow. It allows us to maintain good posture, and it allows us to get to that good toe and knee forward drive through position so that we're not driving through like this. Okay? But again, the shoulders stay open. Look what happens to my ball if I allow my hips and shoulders to close at the same time. Ball's no longer on the power line. I'm kind of side-arming it. This is when a lot of pitchers start to see that kind of funky spin on their pitches, specifically their fastball, because they're essentially side-arming the pitch instead of being able to come straight down with that arm nice and tight to the body, okay? So in power K, we allow ourselves to open up, especially our shoulders, and then as our elbow pulls down, we're getting that hip engagement, and then once our elbow gets to our back hip, we're gonna bring that ball down, still on the power line, snap straight forward, and fire down and out to our target. Okay, let's go over that again, big picture. Shoulders and hips square in the load. Shoulders and hips square in the reach, no opening too soon. Allow your hips and shoulders to open up, getting into power K, but then when the elbow gets to that nine o'clock position, that's when we're gonna start to see those hips start to rotate forward again with our shoulders still staying open. And then when we deliver, this front leg extends, we squeeze our knees together, the hips snap forward even more, shoulders get to about 45 degrees. So our shoulders are not snapping all the way forward with our hips. We're getting them to 45 degrees so our arm has a clear path to fire through on the power line, okay? Square, square, open up, engage the hips, and snap through, okay? I hope you guys have found this helpful and it's helping you with your pictures. I have a lot more videos coming your way and I will talk to you soon.